If I were God, and that's always a dangerous way to begin a sentence, the Bible would be much shorter. It would simply be a list of names I like to be called. Then I would offer a brief list of all my accomplishments. I would, of course, include a long list of everything that is wrong with you. Then I would finish by telling you what you have to do to get back in my good graces. That would be it. Four chapters. It. But not God. God says, if you really want to get to know me, sit down and let me tell you a story. God knows there are things you can learn about a person when you hear their story. So that is what he gives us. The Bible's not a list of do's and don'ts. It's a story about God's great dream of building a community of love and joy and peace, a community where everything is exactly the way it's supposed to be. Then something goes wrong. The people God created refuse to cooperate with his plan. They rebel against him, disobeying him, insisting on doing what is right in their own eyes. What happens next? Well, I don't want to ruin a good story for you. I will say this. There are all sorts of surprises, twists and turns, villains and kings, princesses. There are epic battles and journeys and quests. And the end, it is better than you can even imagine. The best part about God's story is that it's 100% completely true. It is the truest story ever told. It is even truer than the things we can see with our very own eyes because it tells us the things going on behind the scenes that we cannot see. That is why God chooses to tell us his story instead of just a few boring lists of what to call him and what he's done and what is wrong with us and how we can make ourselves right again. A story is way better than that. Did you know you have a story too? You're going to be asked to write some of your story this year, and I'll tell you a little secret about that. Your story is actually part of God's story. Your story begins with God creating you, and your story will end when God brings you to live with him forever. Only that won't really be the end. That will be just the beginning of what comes next.